supposed to grab the good towel and then... Um, and you told them not to use the good towel, right? I was like, well, that's, no, that's for good to have. It's not doing its thing right now. Of course, now it's not squirting. How rude. It's bleeding still. There, yeah, all right. So I can see where it's coming from. Good. I'm Martha Roberts and I'm going to be taking care of varicose vein here and if you take a look here we've got some good compression here our patient nicked her leg and we're just going to move out of the way a little bit and turn some good lighting on she nicked her leg has a varicose vein And as you can see here, she's bleeding quite a bit. So I'm just gonna take a little gauze here and clean her up. You can see. So we got a good squirt here, but dang. Okay. So I'm drawing up some lidocaine with epinephrine. And we're gonna use a 27 gauge needle to inject the area, trying to stay out of the path of anger here. You're gonna feel pinch and a burn, and it burns. So we're gonna go right directly over where it's bleeding. Be feeling much? A little bit. Should be getting numb now. So I'm just using a Vicryl 5 here, repeat a PS3, and I'm just gonna throw in a suture. She should be numb. It's still so bleeding. What we're gonna do is place a figure eight suture. And it's gonna be difficult because we don't want to get a blood bath and there's no other way to stop this except by coming in come on come on over this way yeah okay. there we go i just don't want it to get on your phone or but if it does it's not a big deal okay so we've already kind of got a little bit of stopping here so i'm just going to go around back up Strangle this guy so he stops bleeding. There we go. So you've all already got immediate stasis. Tension, okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of pulling. I'm gonna tie it off. I don't care about the long tail because all I wanted was to stop this guy. And then I'm gonna go, be, and I'm not gonna cut this. I'm just going to use the same thread to do one more stitch. You okay? Oh, I'm good. Are you feeling much pain? No. Good. Hopefully you're nice and numb there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to tie this off again. And that should about do it. What's most important is that we have this patient get a, press, a pressure bandage on and sit and do nothing today because otherwise it's gonna start bleeding again. Go in here and we're gonna finish our stitch by placing in another figure eight. Hard to see because it's bleeding everywhere. Gonna go ahead and go in. And hopefully this one will do the trick. But you never know. So I'm just holding some last minute pressure after two figure eight sutures. We did that for about a minute. We're gonna place some Dermabond over this vein. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, look at that. So the trick here is making sure that you don't walk around on this for the rest of today. Okay. And that you don't pick at this no matter what. Yeah. And you keep the compression bandage on for the rest of the day. Okay. So we're just gonna let that glue dry. We're gonna put a, once it's dry, we're gonna put a new dressing on it and we're gonna use an ace bandage to make sure we wrap it up tight, have her elevate it and follow up as needed, but these sutures will just dissolve on their own. And that's how you fix a varicose vein.